Okay, um, we're back today with uh, some fun with LibreOffice. And uh, one of the things that I noticed about LibreOffice is that um, there's not as much integration between uh, some of the components of LibreOffice that I'd like, like between calc and base. Um, it seems to be a little tricky to import the data. Um, so I'm going to show you some tricks. Um, first of all, I've just made um, this kind of test database um, with this test table. So we've got ID, first name, last name, and date. Um, and pay attention to the order because this is important here. Um, and then over here in LibreOffice Calc, we have ID, date, first name, last name. Uh, so what I want to do is I just want to copy this data, basically. So I'm going to control C. It's so funny because I'm on a Mac. Um, so I'm used to doing command everything, but I'm clicking control. Uh, anyway, um, so we're going to copy this data. And um, I want to paste it into tuna test. Uh, use first line as column names, of course. Uh, but you notice that these don't match up. And one of the things that really frustrates me about uh, LibreOffice uh, base is that you can't just do this. You can't. I can't just change this order, right? It just anyway it just it moves it around so you get this wrong data type of course because you're trying to dump a date into a uh, varchar or a varcar if you prefer um for all you undertale fans out there um and you know continue anyway nothing's gonna happen because it didn't work um but what i found uh, really works for me is if i just i find that i have to move these things around um, in here. So um, I just move these columns around by copying and pasting them um, so that it matches up with uh, the way that it's listed in the table. So ID, first name, last name, date. Over here in Ultima Office Calc, we have ID, first name, last name, date. Uh, the other thing is that um, despite the way that it looks, right, so in, in our uh, little, if I go to tuna test, right, and I edit it and I go to date, Oh, I forgot to change this. So I always like to use the four-digit year because obvious reasons. So anyway, um, even though it looks like this in the format example, that's not how it's going to be. Um, you can't just paste this directly in. I'm not going to show you it not working because it doesn't make any sense. So what you need to do is instead of month, month, day, day, year, 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 what you actually need is year, 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 month, month, Day, day and I just type it in um, it finds it super quickly so this changes it to that format which uh, you know whatever so let's go ahead and copy this again and go to back to leave our office base um, we need to use first line as column names um, you'll notice that these now match up uh, which is good and I'm gonna click create didn't give us any errors <laughs> of course it didn't do anything either why is that uh, tuna test, append data, uh, all of these are selected. Violation of the, oh, you know what? It probably didn't. Okay. Well, it worked uh, before and it probably just didn't. Um, it didn't refresh it quickly enough. I tend to quick click really quickly. Anyway, um, you'll notice that the data now matches the stuff that's over here. Um, and again, the date is mystifyingly correct here for the thing, but I had to convert it to this uh, this format here. And again, what I did, all I did was select the whole comment, the whole uh, column, and click format. Right click on it, click format cells, and then I just type in a different format code down there, and it works. Um, so anyway, that's sort of the trouble that I was having um, when I was trying to import data between the spreadsheet program and the database software. So I hope that cleared up some things for you, and I hope it kind of makes sense now. Uh, so anyway, take care.